Nah, Grover first said, you know what, bitch? I think we should make them remember. I think we should make them remember. When I first came here, when I first came here, he said, bread tube this, bread tube that. We're here to destroy bread tube. Where is bread tube at? Where are they at now? Where is bread tube? Where is bread tube? I walked through bread tube. I conquered bread tube. I destroyed bread tube and I crushed it in my grip. Infrared has conquered bread tube officially. They're all dead streamers. They're done. They have no future. They're not growing. They're not in the spotlight anymore. They're turning into outright as of Nazis. Dead in the goddamn water. There's no such thing as bread tube anymore. We never took credit for conquering them. Well, we did. We're out facing new enemies like that fucking Paul Moron dumbass. These fake tankies and the Gonzalo Whites and other fake MLs. But guess what? Bread tube is done. All that remains is Hakim. 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 I want to be clear about something. BreadTube is dead. I crushed BreadTube. I almost single-handedly destroyed BreadTube. Now, you may want to ask me, you want to say, Haas, how did you destroy BreadTube? How did you do it? I came onto the scene and I proved the impossible. I proved that it's possible to be like this and be an actual communist with a capital C. So all that shit they were hijacking from us, all that Marxism they were pretending to represent, all that communism and shit they were pretending to represent, I put them in their place and I showed them, hey, I'm a real Marxist, I know what the fuck I'm talking about, and I'm angry and aggressive about it. So they all bitched out and backed down, and we don't hear anything from them anymore. You want to know what an example of this is, guys? You know that fat fuck pig Pogan? You know that guy Pogan? Pogan is turning into like an ML now. Pogan released a fucking video just recently where he was like, actually, Pat socks aren't MLs and that, and he's kind of turning based. He was like, Stalin purged his army in 1941 and it was because it was infiltrated by Nazis, which was true. And I'm like, Jesus, is Pogan turning based? He's like actually recognizing the truth about the Stalinist purges now because it, they were infiltrated by Nazis. But he was trying to use that as an example of like how we're infiltrating communism and we're actually Nazis. So whatever, he, it's a dumbass point about us, but it's gotten him to the point where even Pogan is defending Stalin now. And I consider that an achievement. I consider that a W, which I'm going to fucking take credit for. I'm going to take credit for that W. I mean, yeah, you can go ahead and attack us, but if we start making Stalin mainstream, I'm cool with that. Keep attacking us, bitch. I don't give a fuck. I care, I care more about Stalin than I care about Haas. If Haas's image has to fall so Stalin's image can rise back up, I'll gladly take that sacrifice. I don't give a fuck. Stalin's purges were because of infiltration from fucking Nazis. Yes, that is a historical fact. It's time to clear the record. And nobody talks about, I'm going to have Grover Fur on soon. I actually checked through my emails today because I was like, I should email Grover Fur. I wonder if I've, there was a big, long ass strand of hair in my fucking throat. So anyway, um, no, I was thinking that, uh, Pogan, we're going to react to his video, but I was thinking, um, no, I was talking about the email. I was thinking I want to email Grover Fur and have him on, but then I realized, um, you know what? I have actually talked to... I've actually emailed Grover Ferb before. Um, or he emailed me. And I was like, I think I'm pretty sure. So I went into my email and I searched Grover Ferb. Lo and behold, you I am not shitting you. You will not believe this. Grover Fur reached out to me last August. And I did respond. And it was like August 25th. And I think the reason I didn't, um, and uh, he was like, yeah, I'd love to come on. Let's schedule something. David Lane here.
Thank you for the time. Join me as I mumble about how capitalist realism has defeated me in BreadTube. Yeah, so he 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 was like, yeah, schedule something. Like, yeah, I'll, I'll get back to you when I schedule something or whatever. And he was like, yeah, get back to me. And I didn't respond. And it was like August 25th. And I think the reason I didn't and I got swamped was because I specifically were August, late August is when I started taking off, started going on those Royales. All I was, I forgot about everything. I like, oh my God, there was so much shit I forgot about. So I'm going to actually respond to the email today or tomorrow. And I'm going to see if, um, I'm going to see if I can actually have him on and he'll, I'll see if he can forgive me for kind of ghosting him on accident. I didn't, holy fuck, Tereshi. The Khan will rise against all odds, son, gorilla, son. Thank you, Toreshi. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, I'm going to get back to um, Mr. Fur. And I want to tell you guys about Grover Fur because he is sincerely an underrated historian. So Grover Fur is this extremely maligned um, historian who is, he's not overly, he's not ideological. He's completely unbiased. He presents a detailed um, analysis of first primary sources and facts um, to clear Stalin's name, because, you know, all these people make shit up about Stalin. Timothy Snyder, and who's that fucking Simon Seabag, Simon Teabag, Balsack, Manta Pussy, whatever the fuck that Manta Fair. Stalin in the court of the Red Czar, Stalin ate thousands of babies. Nah, Grover first said, you know what, bitch? Grover Fur, he went, you know what, bitch, I'm going to the archives, I'm going to the primary sources, we're going to get down to business, and we're going to see if you're lying. And what was the verdict that Fur came to? They were lying. They were all liars. Kotkin isn't horrible when it comes to this, but by far the best historian about the history of the Soviet Union under Stalin is Grover Fur, And he's super underrated, and I am going to use my platform to promote Grover Fur and his books in the best way that I can because I am seriously sickened by the way they try to lie about Stalin, right? Yeah, Le Soudre was good too, but Grover Fur, see, he, he's using the empirical method. He actually proves that, the, that based on even a basic Anglo-Saxon scientific method, these people are a bunch of fucking liars. Okay, Lesudro is cool, but I think he was coming more from like a, a narrative perspective, more moral perspective. Give me a second. Give me a second. Um, you know, there's another thing too. This is a little spicy. This is a little spicy. I want, I want someone to study the history of Cambodia. I want someone to study what happened under the Khmer Rouge. Because what can we trust? What can we li What can we really trust? Right? I want someone to just study it you know i want there to be someone who can study it in the same way that the revisionist school of soviet history studied the soviet union because i don't you know I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you guys i don't think we know a lot about what happened with the kimber rouge i know you guys like to meme and shit but i don't think it's very Please. clear i don't think it's very clear at all Pogan debated vosh on his pro nato position but it was long and really circular thank you max I don't think it's very clear. The Kimaroos were backed by the U.S. Not true. That's bullshit. It is not clear at all. And I'm not jumping to a conclusion. I'm just saying it should be studied. It should genuinely be studied. I think it's pretty clear there was a lot of horrors and excesses that happened. But to what extent did they happen? I mean, look, guys. I've looked into it. I've looked into it. I've looked into what happened in Cambodia and... Did you know the U.S. bombed Cambodia more than, like, any country ever on Earth? Do you know how many people the U.S. killed in Cambodia that were later attributed to the Khmer Rouge? I don't know. I wonder. Really makes you wonder. Really makes you wonder. But the U.S., I mean, oh my god. They really, really bombed the shit out of Cambodia. Like, really badly, right? Can you talk about the K-10 forest incident? <laughs> oh the the, the Katyn forest incident that's one that's an interesting way of uh, looking at it i don't know what i'm allowed to say on youtube but there's like two responses i have to the Katyn thing right on the one hand if the soviets did it
I can't even say it, right? But it doesn't, I mean, but first of all, can you please check the bullets that were found at the, at the site of the Katyn events? Can you check what guns and which country manufactures the guns that those bullets fit in? But, but moreover, I mean, the evidence is overwhelming about who committed that massacre. Just read Grover Fur, right? But what specifically interests me is that even if it was committed by the Soviets, even if it was, The Katyn victims, to the extent of my knowledge, were overwhelmingly the ruling class, the officers, the like state apparatus leaders and the elites and the bureaucrats and you know the, the kind of military, whatever. So I'm not saying anything. All death is tragic. Anyway, um, I don't know how we got side railed into that. Yeah, like aristocrats and shit like that. I don't know how we got sidetrapped into that, but, um...